All right, so I made it to Disc Golf City for the first time, and I'm also throwing a new disc today, the Innova Toro. And I'm on hole three here at Kilbourn, and I love this hole. It's like a real nice wide fairway. And uh, I throw a good amount of forehands, so I'm always looking for a control disc that I can rely on. I've been throwing the Innova Gator for the most part. I'm gonna use both these discs today, kind of compare them as far as the stability. This is in Champion Plastic at 175 grams, and this is in Star Plastic at 173. I've thrown this a few times, and there's some similarities. Probably the biggest difference is that the Gator has a pretty significant bead on it, and the Toro is completely beadless. All right, Gator's up first. That's my benchmark. Throw it kind of nice and high. Okay, I like that. Let's throw the Toro. So Toro ended up here. Here's my Gator, pretty similar. Let's try like a flex shot backhand try to get it to that white basket. That was not enough Anheuser. <laughs> okay, it's pretty overstable. Let's throw the Gator, same line, but I uh, try to put a little more Anheuser on it. Not gonna be putting for y'all today. I'm just gonna be throwing these discs, showing you some lines. Okay, hole four, 305 feet. I don't think I can reach it with these, but I'm gonna switch it up, forehand flex left side fairway. Let's go Toro first. That is in the fairway. Gator. Oh my. I've not been throwing a lot of forehands lately and there was a lot of wobble to those. That's me, not the disc. All right, probably got like 120 feet here. Throw some short approach shots. Gator, it's a little bit closer with the Toro. I'll just throw a little soft Anheuser, see how it floats in there. Yeah, that's a little better touch. By the way, this course so far, absolutely sweet. <laughs> Wish I could play it every single day. I mean, I'm just lucky to be here right now. Look how lush it is in like the walkways between holes. This is, this is why I love disc golf so much is just getting out into the trees. All right, hole five is 285 foot par three. Another opportunity to kind of throw like a high flex shot. Let's go Gator first. Ooh, that could be pretty good. Probably short, but that was more of just like a high flat shot than actual flex. Oh my gosh. Again, it's really stable. That Toro. I'm only like 90 feet here. Normally I just like throw a putter, but let's throw this instead. Try to land it softly. Hole six, 354 foot, par three. I probably can't get there with these again, but I'm gonna try to throw a high Anheuser and see how much I can get these to hold an angle. So I'll go Gator first. <laughs> That's stable, very stable. And I mean, that's a good flex shot, but not holding an Anheuser unless you really give it angle. Let me try to give this one even more angle. <laughs> okay, probably not gonna be holding a full Anheuser on those, especially when they're brand new. So both those shots ended up really close to each other. I think in flight patterns, there's a lot of ways these discs are pretty similar. By the way, if you've liked this video, would you mind liking it on YouTube as well? That would really help give me a signal that this video is helpful and hopefully somewhat entertaining. I'd really appreciate that. All right, back to the shots. What about a, uh, a roller? How's that sound? Let's go, I don't really throw those a lot, but let's, let's go on the ground here. Ooh, that's kind of in the direction of the basket. Not gonna succeed by hitting roots. All right, 245 feet, hard right. Let's just see how far right we can get these discs to go. Let's use that wide fairway and give it a little bit of height. Where's the basket? 
I'm just going to follow the fairway. <laughs> I like that. Just give it some height. All right, one more. Gator. Oh, okay. So I just noticed that there. I feel like the gator pushed forward straight for a little bit longer than the Toro. The Toro just kind of was coming out of its flight a little bit quicker, but uh, that's something I noticed there. All right, both of those ended up in a pretty good putting range. I do feel like, as you can see, the Toro's a little bit shorter. The gator, like, I feel like I threw the same shot there. Like I said, the gator just pushed forward a little bit further. Hold 10, par three, 260 feet. Another shot you want to kind of just go straight a little bit, finish right. Kind of going to follow that dirt path a little bit with a flex shot. I like that. It's like right kind of where I think the basket is. Nope. Oh. Came out a little early. Okay, honestly, I thought these would be close to the basket right there, right there, but I got a long way to go. All right, I feel like I've thrown these discs enough now to kind of understand them a little bit better. I've understood the Gator because that's my main forehand approach disc, but honestly, they fly quite similarly. There were certain times when I was thinking the Toro was a bit more overstable, and then there were other times where I was like, the Gator is a little more overstable. I think the biggest difference at the end of the day comes down to bead versus beadless and uh, trying something new out. But at the end of the day, these discs have similar flight characteristics. And I think that, like I said, what it comes down to is how does it feel in your hands? So thanks for watching y'all. Have a good one.